All right, let's talk about the components necessary to put together an off-grid solar array. So you need a solar panel, some kind of charge controller. This is just a cheapie. You need a battery, and you'll need an inverter if you want to turn the DC power from the battery and the solar panel into AC power that you can just plug regular things into. And you need something to run off the system. In this case, I have the solar panels on alligator clips hooked directly up to the terminals. It's not ideal, but when you live like this, you're not always dealing with ideal circumstances. This little toolbox is one of the handiest things I've ever made out here. The solar charges the battery, and the battery then powers three different functions. It has this little inverter. I can charge like a tool battery or something if I'm out on the property somewhere. It operates as a jump box for when batteries die on cars or anything else that needs to be jumped. And is also a transfer pump, which is really handy for moving water around the property. I can just hook a hose up to it and get water basically wherever I need it to go. That's basically the simplicity of an off-grid solar array. Let's take a look at one that's a little bigger. This solar array is made up of eight 400 watt solar panels that are wired in series. At the end of this solar array in direct sun, I'm cranking out between 350 and 400 volts of DC electricity. That electricity then goes into this inverter, which is a dual purpose inverter. It both makes 120 volt AC power, but also takes that DC power from the solar array and turns it into 48 volts of a higher amperage into the battery bank and keeps the batteries charged. Then out of the inverter, we go to an electrical distribution and that has breakers in it, which powers our house and my mother-in-law's motorhome. That larger solar array essentially has everything that that smaller solar array had. It's just a lot of the components are built into the inverter. But the concept is the same, just on a bigger scale. If you're thinking about doing van life or you're thinking about having an RV or a camper or something like that, you can actually build a smaller solar array with some deep cell marine batteries that are 12 volt and your solar uh, panels are 12 volt. And you can run a lot of the stuff that's made to run off of 12 volt without even having an inverter. But if you want to be able to run anything that you would plug into a normal house, you're going to need an inverter because that's where that power comes from. So to recap, you need a solar panel. You need a charge controller to regulate how much power is going into the batteries. You need a battery of some kind that is the appropriate voltage for your system for the output of your charge controller. You need an inverter to be able to turn the DC power into AC power and you need some sort of distribution and something to run off of it. You can match up all of those things pretty easily, but if you need any help, leave your questions in the comments and I'll do my best to help you with it. In the next video, we'll talk about how to size your array for what you wanna run. Uh, that's usually the biggest question people have is how much solar am I gonna need? So we'll answer that question. So follow this account if you wanna know more.